Jared Lee, congratulations. You guys have made it into the next phase of this selection process. What you're fighting for is the Navy anvil at the Battle of the Branches final competition and a chance to win $50,000. And now we're sending you back to your home for just to recreate this military weapon from history. U.S. Naval Officer's Sword. Awesome. You'll have four days at your home forges in which to complete all these parameters. At the end of those four days, you'll return and present your blades to our panel of expert judges. After they've expertly tested them, they'll push one of you forward into the Battle of the Branches competition. Good luck, bladesmiths. We'll see you in four days. Today is day one, and today I'm working on forging out the basic shape of the sword and maybe get to heat treat. Navy way is uh, slow as smooth. Start slow, and it will turn into uh, speed and perfection later on. I got my sword shaped out, and I'm ready for uh, heat treat. Into day one, no cracks. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm sitting well right now. Yup, that is sexy. All right. First thing I'm going to do today is use my rotary tool and hand grind in my fuller. For a hand fuller, can't ask for much better. Blades ready to be quenched. The one thing you always think about is don't snap. This is the moment. Don't have a warp. Snaps are fatal. Warps are critical, but can be fixed. Pull it out. Uh-oh. It's hard, but it's got a bow. To the jig. I have to get it in my straightening jig to see if we can get that pulled out. Let's hope it straightened it. If not, we got to go through that whole thing again. Pick it up, look down it. Bam. We got a straight blade. 10 minutes, bladesmiths. You have 10 tiny minutes. <laughs> so as of right now, my plan is to get some sheet steel, use that for the majority of the leaf guard, and then getting some steel for the knuckle guard and braiding it, kind of give it a nautical naval theme to it. Try and make it look like some rope or line. This wire is bulking up way more than I thought it would be. I'm trying to braid this thing. It's not moving the way I want it to. Uh, I didn't want nearly as many gaps as this, so I'm starting to get a little frustrated. I still have a whole lot to do, but at the end of the day, I'm treating this as if this is a $50,000 sword, so I'm going to put every ounce of energy I have into it. I decided I'm just going to stick this in the vise and uh, start twisting until it looks like rope. All right. First things first, put the coffee down, pick the sword up. Tempered last night, and the warp that I thought I had fixed came back in the temper overnight. Right down the edge, right down that spine. I have to get this fixed before I move on with the sword. <sighs> to get this warp out, I'm going to have to pin it, heat up the spine, then let it relax, and hopefully the warp will come out. A little tap, but I can live with that. It don't rock. Finally get this warp out. Still hard. It's time to move on to the handle material. I set up the micarta handles by cutting them rough shape to fit the handle. Drill the holes like that. I think I need to get the pommel. So when I do make the guard and knuckle bow, I know where to end it. So I need the pommel next. It's pretty blade heavy, and it's going to need a big chunk of brass to be able to balance that out. Done. <laughs> All right, sailors. Your weapons look beautiful, but it's time to find out if they're wall hangers or if they're actually something you could use to kill. Jared, you're up first. You ready for this? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, Jared, the balance you have here feels good in the hand. Now, your edge is very sharp. As you can see, with every cut, it cuts deep for every thrust, all the way through and true. Overall, sir, your weapon will keel. Thank you. Good job. All right, Lee, it's your turn. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. That's a lot of hog to go through with a skinny blade. I'm pretty nervous.
All right, the, the handle construction is comfortable. Your edge, not one single glint or rolling. Your tip punctures and cuts on the way out. And overall, sir, it will kill. Yes. All right, gentlemen, it's time for the strength test, the dreaded flex test. For the test, the strength of your blade, I'll be bending it in both directions up to that red point. Jared, you ready for this? I guess. OK. I'm impressed. Uh, your blade is just as straight as when we started the test. That's a really nice heat treat. Thank you. Holding your sword, you can shorten that handle just a little bit scale-wise, but at the same time, it winds up being fairly comfortable. Nicely done. Thanks. All right, Lee, you're up. You ready for this? Yes, sir. OK. The longest five seconds of my life. Nice job, Lee. That blade is still the same shape it started it. That's impressive. Thank you, sir. Really good. All right, gentlemen, it's time for the sharpness test. We call this the fish slice. We're going to be lowering those fish down. I'm just going to start cutting. I'm going to keep cutting until I run out of fish. All right, Jared, you're up first. Are you ready? I'm ready. OK. <laughs> this is why I love sabers. They are just so much fun to cut with. It's just passing right through the fish beautifully. Your handle construction might be a little bit wide, but it's comfortable and it stays in my hand. I think you did a great job. Thank you. Lee, you ready? Yes, sir. OK. All right, Lee, cuts beautifully. I mean, the edge on this is wonderful. Saber's definitely sharp and a great balance. Nicely done. Thanks, sir. Jared and I are neck and neck. I mean, both plays performed great. Jared Lee, only one of you can move forward, and that Smith is. Lee, congratulations. You'll be moving forward to represent the United States Navy in the Battle of the Branches final competition. Congratulations, good job. Thank you. Jared, unfortunately, your blade didn't make the cut, and David Baker's going to tell you why. Jared, you brought us an effective cutting sword, but this came down to the basic details of aesthetics and the way that weapon felt in my hand. I understand. Well, Jared, come on forward, brother. Good job, man. This competition was such a learning experience for me. Uh, made a lot of good friends. I uh, had a great time. Give him hell. Good job, shipmate. I didn't win, but I did two uh, very awesome sword. Lee, you did well. Give him hell and take it home from the Navy. Lee, congratulations. You forged your way into this final competition where you'll compete against the Air Force, Army, and Marine Corps to bring home the title of Forged and Fire Champion to the United States Navy. And you'll also be competing to receive a check for $50,000. You've done a fantastic job. You're only halfway there. And we'll see you real soon. Good job. Thank you, sir. I just won. Really? 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 Being able to represent the Navy is an honor. I am totally ready to do this all over again. And I'm going to tell you guys to bring your A game, because I'm bringing mine.